There's been a lot of buzz in social media lately about the revival that's taking place at Ashbury Seminary in Kentucky. And I'd like to talk about that for a few minutes. But I'm not going to talk about the revival itself. I want to talk about us who are not there. See, one thing that I'm seeing on a lot of posts on social media, people are saying, let's go. Like, let's go drive over there and see what's going on. Well, I have one thing to say about that. And that is, don't. Do not go there. The worst thing that can happen when there's a move of God is for a bunch of people who are on the outside of it to show up. See, this revival is for them. It's not for you. Why do I say that? Well, see, for you to go there just to see what's going on is spiritual tourism. It's purely flesh. See, I think this revival is a good thing. I really think it's a good thing that there's a revival breaking out amongst the next generations of young people who are going to be the leaders in the future in the church. But see, it's not for you. One of the greatest weaknesses in the American church is the complete lack of understanding of what a revival is and what a move of God is. See, in the revival lectures, Charles Finney, he shows us that a revival means that we as the church are spiritually dead and that we must corporately and individually repent of our sins, confess them, get right with God, so God can make us spiritually alive again. So revival is not entertainment. Revival is not a program so you can bring in the lost. It's for us. It's for the church. It's us admitting that we've sinned. It's us admitting that we're not living for God. And it's us admitting that we want to return to our first love, which is God himself. So, spiritually dead church, do not go to Kentucky. If you want to see a revival, then do it the way that believers throughout history have done it. Create a prayer meeting. Find other people who have a burden for revival and pray with them. Confess your sins to God and confess the corporate sins of the established churches in your area. Pray for the dead churches in your area. Pray for those pastors. And pray and pray and pray until God answers your prayers. It's not easy and there's no shortcuts, but that's how it is. Be inspired by what's happening in Kentucky. But church, I urge you, do not co-opt their blessing. Create your own.